good day learners. Today, we are going to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. Now, let us try to solve this quadratic equation by completing the square. So the first thing you have to do is to divide both sides of the equation by the value of a. And in this case, the value of a is 2. Note that when the value of a is just 1, you don't need to do the first step anymore. Once again, the value of a is 2, so we have to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So 2d squared divided by 2, that's d squared, negative 10d, and positive 21 equals 0 divided by 2 is just 0. Alright? Now, for the second step, all you need to do is to make sure that all of the variables or the terms with the literal coefficients are on the left side of the equation and the constant term is on the right side. So, all you have to do is to transpose the constant term to this side or simply subtract 21 on both sides of the equation. So, that's d squared. You just copy this term as well as this term with the variables or literal coefficient equals negative 21. Okay? Now, the next thing we have to do is to transform this into a perfect square trinomial. And for us to get the third term, we just have to apply this formula. B over 2 squared. We're in the value of b is this one. Okay? So the numerical coefficient of the linear term. So that's negative 10 divided by 2, then square. Answer. So that's negative 10 divided by 2, it's negative 5. And negative 5 squared means negative 5 times another negative 5, it's positive 25. So what are we going to do with positive 25? We just have to add it on both sides of the equation. So we now have d squared minus 10d plus, what we got, 25 equals negative 21 plus again 25. Again, you add 25 on both sides of the equation. So this is now a perfect square trinomial. And perfect square trinomial can be expressed as a square of a binomial. So that is, so that's d square of 25 is 5, so negative. This perfect square trinomial when expressed to square of a binomial is quantity d minus 5 squared equals what is negative 21 plus 25, that's positive 4. So this is now in the form quantity x minus h squared equals k. Once you got here, all you have to do is to apply the first method of solving quadratic equation, which is extracting the square roots. Let's try it. Let me just rewrite. So extract the square root of both sides of the equation. And the square root of quantity d minus 5 squared is just d minus 5 equals, and the square root of 4, again, is positive negative 2. This is not yet the final answer because we are after the two values of d. And since this is positive negative 2, we just have to separate it so that we can find two values of d. Alright, so once again, we came up with d minus 5 equals positive negative 2. Once again, for us to get two values of d, we just have to equate the first one, d minus 5, with positive 2. And the other one, d minus 5, is equal to negative 2. Let us solve for the first value. All we need to do is to transpose the constant term to the other side and combine it with another constant term. So that's d equals 2 
plus 5. So the first value of D is positive 7. And for the second value of D, once again, you do the same thing. D equals negative 2 plus 5. That would be negative 2 plus 5 is positive 3. So these are the two values of D, 7 and 3.